So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot came out with a DLC Power Awakens Part 1. I don't believe, I think back in like, I wanna say 2021, something like that, late 2020, something like that. And um, yeah, when this, when this first came out, I wasn't really involved in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, so I did not have any interest in buying a DLC up until lately when I played Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for the final time. Uh, gave my final review you guys can check that out the video did very well thank you guys for all the support on that video i really appreciate it any support is great i don't care if it's 50 to 100 views thank you guys so much um let's go ahead and try to get five likes on this video right here but with that being said um yeah so i played through the story and i enjoyed it a little bit you know let me not say a little bit i enjoyed it i don't know why i'm trying to be all modest i enjoyed it i enjoyed it it's a seven out of ten, seven out of ten game you guys know my thoughts on it but i was like okay fine what what's next can i i can do the sub stories but i heard those really aren't as entertaining so why not get it get some dlc why not why not and it's the cheapest one out right now and so i decided hey let's just get the power awaken set and the let's become a super saiyan god now I'm gonna go over my good parts first. Let's, let's not be too, uh, you know, negative, all right? <laughs> let's go over the good moments, all right? So the good parts about this is that you get a massive amount of awards, emblems, items, skills. Um, it, it is a vast world of things you actually do get. Now, this, again, it has benefits. If you buy this DLC, you will get Super Saiyan God. You will get, um, obviously new moves and items and you even get this thing called sacred water that increases the xp you get for players that are capped at level 50 so it, it only caps at level 50 so if you're higher than like a level 50 or something like that you can't really use it but it works for that level up system when you're trying to level up other characters in your party and with that being said i enjoy the long range of like I guess rewards you got from it and you can kind of sell some of the items that you use to get more you know drinks and more health and stuff like that the only problem i would have is that when you're doing some of these um missions it can get very very hard so i would recommend that you guys will be a, at least i was a level 70 so i don't know how i did it but i was a level 70 something when i did these things i recommend you be at least 85 at least a little bit 85 for one of your characters because Whis and Beerus do not play. Like, I, they don't mess around around here, okay? Now, if I'm recalling correctly, um, there is a section in there where you kind of get to experience, like, the interaction between Beerus, Whis, and Goku and Vegeta, and you actually play as Goku and Vegeta at two separate times. So that was actually pretty cool to experience different versions of the same story going on, because it's kind of the same story, you know, it's a Super Saiyan God story, everybody knows how they become a Super Saiyan God. And it happens to Vegeta as well, which is, it was kind of cool to see the two sides go at it. And so, yeah, I actually like those aspects of this DLC. The DLC was, you know, pretty good when it came to that. Now. We're gonna get into the negative side of things, and I have to say, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of things <laughs> that are negative. Okay, first of all, first of all, why are why am I getting Super Saiyan three times over? Like, do you guys realize we have to go through all the level ups that we did from the main stories we have to get super saiyan super saiyan 1 super saiyan 2 super saiyan 3 kaioken we have to learn all of that again like all of that was a waste of time like i was sitting here like are we seriously are we just fighting you guys to just relearn these skills why why don't we get actual other rewards for this and i mean i get it you do get rewards when you do the actual level up training but aside from that we're learning the same thing there's there you're just literally going up the tiers of Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan God when we already acquired them in the main story. I don't understand why we had to go through that again. That actually irritated the crap out of me. Like I did, I was like, "Are, are you? You can't be serious." So, so again, that was like a that was a big, big chunk of negative. Like I just didn't like that we had to go through that again. The battles became tedious because it was like, "Okay, I'm just leveling up for something I already have." What's next? All right, and so now when we get into uh, y'all know these cutscenes all right but uh, quite frankly i had to sit through these because this is again this is a new story so the cutscenes in in my opinion they were better in this dlc and i i sat through some of them and some of them i skipped them most, most of them i skipped but you know i sat through a, a good bit of them and i did enjoy the last few cutscenes when you actually become a super saiyan god and fight beers 
Um, yeah, that was a sick cutscene right there. I gotta say, that was that was wicked, wicked. Both Vegeta and Goku's cutscenes just wicked. So uh, I really, again, that was I guess that's another good point. But yeah, back to the negatives. I I enjoy I I guess I enjoy the rewards from it. But the negatives is more so the playthrough. Like it got real tedious at times to just keep continuously fighting them and fighting them and fighting them and fighting them. And, fighting them. and I thought the story was gonna be a little bit more than that. Like I thought we were gonna actually expand upon going back and forth from Earth to here. And you know, I you know, I guess I was asking for too much. But at the same time, like, what kind of DLC is this? If this it's just a you know, I guess it was just a rewards pack. You know, that's what it's giving. You know, a rewards pack type of deal um just to give you rewards and again i appreciate those rewards because now you can use some of those transformations in the actual main story but with all that being said um yeah and even some of the side missions now the side mission bro vegeta's side mission i'm gonna tell you this right now the most annoying thing was having to go grab those items and then you have to go fight beerus now beerus is a level 100 when you fight him for super saiyan god i was a level 70 two or something like that i don't know how i beat him but with hella hella healing heal aids you're gonna need some items by the way but after that yeah he's a level 200 at the, at the side as a side mission so i'm in yeah you're gonna have to at least be a level 100 before you start this dlc and again i think this is the assumption that this dlc came out months and months and months after the game was finished so i, I think they assumed that everybody would be a level 100 but unlike me i like to rush so i said f that we're going straight into battle i don't care we're gonna use these items we're gonna use all that we can get and i'm gonna go ahead and finish this dlc so and uh yeah so that was my negatives now here is my final review so that my final review on this game is um not the game sorry my final review on this dlc is definitely a five out of ten uh I, it was a ha it was a strictly down the middle uh experience i was having fun one minute and then i was like why are we here again and then i was just like we're here again okay cool but then why are we back here again like it just was it got real real just wonky it was just like oh, okay cool uh, okay eh, eh. i didn't really you know i didn't really bring much out of me the, the ending of each you know saying getting their god power was probably the best part but i just don't you know it's, it's whatever <laughs> leave a like on this video subscribe if you're never getting on some more dragon ball z content peace